Hello and welcome again to this other talks, our talks that we give every month and we are coming to June. June is a beautiful month as we see our gardens begin to grow and the flowers and the fruits and vegetables are beginning to blossom. It is also a time where we're going to attend to a lot of graduations. Many of your grandchildren or children will be graduating in grade 12 and will soon be losing, leaving the nest to venture out into life. The horizon of their life is beyond them. There are fears and anxiety for parents and grandparents as they see their children leave the nest. But that is part of our growing up. That is part of life. It is also a time when the farmers hope, weather permitting, to finish their sowing so that in the fall they may have the abundance of harvest. June is also the month, according to the tradition of the church, given to the Sacred Heart, helping us to reflect on the person of Christ who gave his life for us out of love. So it's really a month that is consecrated on trying to bring more love in our world, more love in our families, more, lo more love in our hearts, being mindful of all our vulnerable and poor people. Then we come, of course, you have all heard the big news of the Theodore case, in which the judge has decided that the Catholic schools would not be able to receive into their walls non-Catholics with tax-supported money. They would have to pay to come to our schools. This is surely changing the legacy that is given to us by the sisters, but it is also a time for reflection on our belief on Catholic education. Do we as parents really believe that our Catholic institutes, especially in the cities, in the urban areas, is giving that education that is needed for our, our children? Is their witness helping them to live out their faith? Is the witness helping them to find hope in the future? Is their witness helping them to give them a purpose in life? Also, the education of the faith is to help them to continue to understand that faith that we sometimes know so very little about and to bring it to the world, giving him that basis of that faith. And so it's for a time for us to reflect on how we should continue in supporting our Catholic institutions and our Catholic schools, especially from the results of this Theodore case. And then we come out with the euthanasia. Made medical assistant in dying. I'm sure that many doctors do not understand how we can assist people to die, but we, they can understand how they do everything to keep them alive. We talk sometimes of quality of life, but that's an adjective we add. Life is life. The breath that we have within us, given to us by God, it is he who is to take it at the end of our days. It is not us to decide. It is not us to say when I want to end it. For also the children, grandchildren, have their right of having a grandmother, of having a parent, of having a brother or sister to be at their side alive, enjoying life with its challenges, with its vulnerability, and with its sickness. But it's through these sufferings of our other people that we learn the beauty of life and that we understand how life is important for all of us and how we should continue to support life to the end. For it is in God's hands, we see. So it's good for us to reflect on it. Reflect on it so that we can understand it and help others who are challenged by it, who would like to end their lives, to find that there's an alternative way for their life doesn't belong to them. It also belongs to their family and friends, husband and wife, and children and grandchildren. They want a grandmother, sick or alive. They want a grandmother who is there, to whom they explain, they can tell their life stories, to whom they can tell how they appreciated you. You took care of grandparents, you took care, perhaps, of your own parents. Let your children 
take care of you in such times and to love you in such situations. For they have that privilege and right to do so. And so we have this reflection on euthanasia as we go through the month of May and June, month of work and happiness, of holidays, preparing for our holidays, our summer holidays, of trying to think of how we are going to spend our July and August. So I wish you all a good, happy month of June. Let us continue to pray with all our hearts, as Christ would like us to do, for one another and for peace in our world. Thank you very much.